Well, hey everybody, welcome back. This is gonna be late night tech talk with your boy JJ right here. We're gonna go ahead and get this B roll started and we're gonna get on it. So, do enjoy the show. We got more to go, so here we go. Enjoy it right here at JJ's Jay's PC Builds. Welcome back. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I gotta make this video go really quick. Just, I gotta be myself, okay? I can't, I want everybody to understand this. I cannot be ippity, ippity, uppity, oopity, okay? I'm an old man. <laughs> but anyway, let's get on to the show. Tonight we're going to have a little bit of a talk about AMD, right? We're going to talk about AMD and the reason why we're going to talk about AMD, they do got coming up, coming up, November the 3rd, they're going to be doing that rollout on November the 3rd and everybody's kind of saying by December the 1st, they're going to roll out with the new GPUs, okay? I'm not going to speculate on when they're going to roll out with the GPUs until after the event on November the 3rd. And I will be trying to have a powwow on that as well. I'll make sure as soon as I get all the information, I'll post out the video to you all as soon as I can. Hopefully that same day, because that's going to be a lot of information to go on. But, here's a little bit of a roll-up for you. Okay, Ryzen 5, the 5000 series, they're coming down in price. Um, way it looks like, the Ryzen 5 5600G, the 6-core 12-thread unlocked desktop processor is now down to $129. That's This is Amazon pricing, and you know how their pricing is. It could either be high, or it can be low, or it could be fast or slow. We can go side to side, backwards and forwards. You know how that goes. But anyway, but the Ryzen 5 5600X is $158. Now, those two processors, I can see, you know, you doing good with the 5600X, 6 core, 12 thread, 32 megs of L3 cache on the 56X. Now the 56G has an integrated graphics, which I use on my computer. I don't have a graphics card. I use the Ryzen 5 5600G. And the reason why I use the 5600G, it's not let me down whatsoever. I edit videos. I do OBS Studios. I upload videos to YouTube. I play games on it. You know, it, it plays decent games. You know, some on the low setting, some on the medium setting, you know, but it does great. So, if that's kind of kind of processor you're looking for to get started, to get into the world, that's the kind of processor to go with if you don't want to pay for an expensive graphics card right now which you should wait and I'm look I'm gonna tell everybody this wait until after the first of the year let everything roll out wait until those after Christmas sales come up wait until after the Christmas sales because that's when that's when you're gonna get a bargain deal and everything else Prices are coming down on the used side because the new side's coming down on prices and it seems that, you know, everybody's wanting more of the new than they are the used. So the used prices on GPUs and CPUs and all that are going to start trickling down lower. 
so after the, by after the first of the year everything has been out there everything rolls out from AMD everything rolls out from Nvidia hopefully hopefully don't quote me on it but hopefully everything rolls out from them after the first of the year and then the price is probably going to start stabilizing so let me get a drink here <laughs> The thing is, is this, you want the prices to roll out. You want them to set their prices so everybody's got their goals and you know which way to go. But right now, DDR4 processors, DDR4 memory and stuff like that, all the prices are going to start coming down for DDR4. DDR4, they're going to end up working out of existence sooner or later. I know it's been in existence for many years, but you know, with the sale and everything else, they're all going to try to roll in for the new year. They're going to try to roll in the DDR5. The gen the Gen 5 series and roll out the Gen 4 series which is Gen 4 is actually the Zen 3 for you know um, Ryzen for AMD but it's confusing I know they can't you know balance out the numbers let's just say but once you get into it and you start to see what you want to buy I'm waiting for the prices to come down even more on the processors <clears throat> excuse me because I want to work my way up to that you know the top point of you know the, the Zen 3 series I want to get myself up to the top of the Zen 3 series and hopefully be able to purchase some processors along the way you know be able to test them out and have more you know content for you here on YouTube I know it's probably not gonna make much sense but Zen 3 is gonna be around for at least one or two more years maybe three you know and then everybody's gonna be into you know the next step up you know DDR5 you know everybody's gonna be into that DDR5 kick so then we'll have to upgrade to DDR5 and you know we have to get a Z790 motherboard and start our way up the chain. But in the meantime, I want to keep working at the the Zen 3 with AMD. I want to start getting some stuff rolling on with uh Intel. You know, I want to get some product for Intel. I want to get some product for AMD. I want to get some product for NVIDIA. You know, and Corsair. You know, Crucial. You know, and many of the suppliers that are out here. But that's in the future. We're working towards the future. But as long as we're working towards the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe and like and watch the videos all the way through we are still working towards 1,000 subscribers and we're working towards 4,000 watch hours so if you can do me a favor just just for you know entertainment purposes watch all my videos from beginning to end this way it builds up our hours and gets us to that 4,000 hour mark and if you like all my videos then subscribe so that way you can stay up to date with the latest videos that are coming out including this one's going to be coming out soon i make all videos the same day i edit all videos the same day i upload all videos the same day so basically me making this video right now in about an hour or two it's going to be going online i got to push it out before 10 o'clock which i'm working towards so that's why this is going to be a 15 minute video for today and then next week we're going to do a 30 minute video for you know the late night tech talk and we're going to build it to you know keep it in between 30 and 45 minutes just to let you know in futuristic that's what we're going to be doing but let's get back to it 
if you go on Amazon and you're looking for a processor AMD's got some good processors out there you know they got I mean they got the and believe this they got a, a deal steal going on right now if you look it up Micro Center's got an AMD Ryzen 5 5500 with the 6 core 12 thread processor the 5500 comes with a bundle Asus Prime B450 M slash A II AM4 processor 5 Ryzen 5000 third second and first gen Ryzen micro ATX motherboard okay explain this one this is one one I got that motherboard I'm using it right now and I'm not lying about it I am because you can watch my videos it shows the Asus motherboard and it's been great I mean seriously great but for a hundred and eighty four dollars and ninety nine cents both the processor and the motherboard shoot fifty four bucks you throw some RAM to it and another fifty four bucks you throw a hard drive uh, M.2 drive which that can accept an M.2 drive believe it or not it only can accept one M.2 but it's got six SATA ports you only can use four out of the six because the two for five and six are used for the M.2 drive just to let you know so you don't freak out it's got bias flashback and trust me how I set my motherboard up was with the bias flashback so I suggest if you're gonna get this motherboard with the processor that you watch the videos on how to set it up and if you need some assistance with it I'll be more than happy to help you I can make a quick video for you to show you how to do the the bias flashback and everything I'm gonna do that anyway in the future and make a future video how to set the bias up with bias flashback for ASUS some of their motherboards do have bias flashback and some of them don't if you get the 500 series on the the the, the Zen 3 platform the the 500 series motherboard let's say the B550 you're not gonna need the bias flashback because it's automatically updated for that platform for the 5000 series of Ryzen but the B450 is not the cool thing about the B450 is that if you're gonna use the 5000 series if you're gonna use the 5000 series for the B450 now you can use the the, the 5500G or the 5500 they offer Ryzen 5500 you could use that you could use the 5600 you could use the 5700 you could use the 58 the 59 and so on believe it or not it will work you can use the the 7000 series no not the new 7 7000 the Zen 3 7000 5700 and up you have to kind of watch where the numbers are it's a little bit confusing but with this series you can use many of processors so it does give you a wide variety of processors that you can use with this motherboard but like I said you can use the 8 core 16 thread that's 196 bucks you know just for the processor I wish they would give you a deal but it all depends on what you want you know you can get the 5600 the six but I would get the X version just to let you know um, let's see is there any other deal oh they got a cool they got a cooler for 32 bucks you know you know a, a process a, a heat sink for your processor um, they got the Ryzen 5 3600 you know six core 12 thread but I would stay with the 5600 that's a little bit better than the 36 everybody thinks that you know the 36 does more but it doesn't I've used the 5600 G and it's it's a monster or you can get the Ryzen 5 4500 the six core 12 thread for $89 that's not bad it's a unlocked CPU you can get the 4600 Ryzen 5 4600G 
that'll work with it too with this motherboard you know there's many things that'll work with this motherboard you know I can see that they got the Ryzen 7 7700X 8 core 16 thread unlock processor for 400 bucks sorry I'm not I'm not feeling the 400 bucks you know or the Ryzen 5 7600X 6 core 12 thread for 300 bucks you know I mean I'm trying to give a better impression of what would be a budget build kind of computer you know you look for the steals and deals I can tell you from now all the way till next year till about February I bet you there's gonna be deals going on so make sure you save up your money and buy the right stuff that you're gonna be doing your build for or if you want to totally cheap out then you can get one of those all-in-one kind of computers that are got a lock it's it's got a lock motherboard to where you can't boost it you know that's kind of a waste of time that's a waste of your money you know what's not a waste of your money is when you get a computer with all the unlocked features that you can go in there and you know study it and learn how it works and boost it the way you want and have something that is like cherry on top of a pie just to say that's pretty much what I did I got tired of using the three-in-one systems which I still use the three-in-one system but I use that for DJing that's another story uh, that's that's basically on Second Life and you know not a lot of people know where Second Life is you know but anyway it's a game so when it comes to what you're looking for if you're looking for a processor you know they got many processors just don't get gaslighted on the processors you know I mean we're just talking about the Ryzen we're not going to go into any, any other processors you know that that's you know like Intel and stuff we'll do Intel another time we'll do Intel I'll make a deal with you we'll do Intel next week we'll just do Ryzen this week okay now you can get the Ryzen 3 3200G that's a good processor as well the 5600X they got it for almost three hundred dollars that's with the motherboard okay that's not just the processor that is the motherboard let's see the 5600X is just a step up above the processor I got for the 5600G so let's see what you get with it okay going down on this <clears throat> let's see what's going on they got special offers like crazy right now oh my god they got some offers like crazy oh man wow if you're looking for like a, a 65 watt processor I can tell you what this this processor is you know good way to go it's the 50 it's the 5600x it it goes up to 4.6 gigahertz which I know you can get 4.7 4.8 gigahertz out of it just to let you know but it's with the MSI B550A Pro AM4 DDR4 ATX motherboard PCIe 4.0 M.2 USB 3.2 Gen 2 and they want with the combo the processor and the motherboard they want three hundred dollars now if you go and add the RAM to it that's an extra 59 bucks and you add the and you add a hard drive to it they got it paired with a Samsung 980 SSD 1 terabyte PCIe 3.0 x4 NVMe drive the 2280 I wouldn't I wouldn't do that one 
because you can go to crucial and get the p2 it's the one terabyte it's the n it's the m.2 nvme drive 2280 with crucial for half that price and it's a one terabyte i run that in my system the the crucial p2 it has a great program to uplift the transfer rate between um, the between the the processor and you know on the motherboard it, the transfer rate for the hard drive is really good I'll sh I'll do a, I'll give you, I'll put a post up you know I'll put a picture up to show you the amount of um, transfer rate that I'm getting off of mine just to let you know we'll do that for you but if you take the that hard drive they suggest out of the way and you put the Corsair Vengen LPX 16 gigabyte 3200 DDR4 memory C16 it's only 50 59 bucks and it's two it's it's total of 16 gigabytes it gives you two eight gigabytes of uh, two eight gigabyte sticks for with the motherboard and the, the processor and the processor comes with the cooler comes with the uh, processor uh, heat sink and you know stuff like that for three fifty seven ninety eight three hundred and fifty eight dollars okay that's three quarters of the computer the only thing that's missing is the case. The only thing that's missing is the power supply, you know, and stuff like that. And you're only looking at maybe doing a uh, 500 watt power supply, but more suggested stay with an 850, 850 watt, um, you know, a 850 watt gold power supply. That would be better off for you. But that's just to give you an idea of what's going on right now, just to let you know. Okay. They got a lot of deals on Amazon. Um, in order for me to recommend Newegg, I'm going to have to touch out to them because I kind of had a bad deal with Newegg and I don't want to have bad blood. I, I want to talk with them to see if there's some kind of, you know, some kind of something going on that we can talk about you know collaboration but that's in due time but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and call it right here i just wanted to let you know there's some awesome pricing going on right now so make sure if you want to jump on it and you got the cash to jump in on it if you want to wait until after the first of the year when it comes to the gpus that could be where you need to you know hold off until the first of the year me i'm gonna wait on the gpu until something comes along that's you know a good deal but anyway make sure you subscribe and like and uh watch the videos through be much appreciated and if you're new to the channel please subscribe it would help us build the channel and get it up to where it needs to be we're still again working for the 1000 subscribers and we're working for the 4000 video hours and you know and liking the videos gives an impression to um youtube that my videos mean something so make sure you go ahead and do all those things it would be much appreciated but we're going to jump out of here until the next video we will see you on the flip side so do enjoy your evening and we're out of here